Hello everyone, it is Tom with DSS Motion back here today with another video review for Call of Duty Mega Bloks. Okay, so today we're taking a look at the Odin Space Station Strike. This is a really, really cool set. It's set number 06863. It has 695 pieces. It's for ages 14 and up, and it retails for about 59.99 here in the UK. So before we get into the review, some basic backstory if you like on this set since this is quite an unusual thing to see in the Call of Duty line you wouldn't really expect to see some kind of space station so kinda I'll go into some detail and explain why we've got this so basically within Call of Duty Ghosts in the first mission you are fighting aboard Odin which is a US space station designed to be almost an orbital strike platform now, when I say orbital strike platform, I mean Odin fires tungsten rods from orbit onto the planet to decimate any targets. In the mission, you're fighting aboard the space station portion of the uh, Odin station, if you like, and you then come onto this portion you see here, which is the firing portion, and you're trying to stop Federation invaders from taking over the station. Now, a nice thing about this set is in Spring 2015, if you've seen our Call of Duty Spring 2015 video, you'll know that we're actually getting a uh, astronaut battle pack to go with this, which is really cool. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll spin it around a bit so you get a bit of a better view of the set as a whole. We'll twist this up. There you go. We'll take the figures off in a second to show you them. Before we begin though, I'll show you the only real accessory that's not on the figures, as most of the accessories in this set are actually the figures' uh, vests and everything. But that's the only real accessory in the set. The laptop in grey, which is very nice. Actually, give me a second to check quickly, but I... Yep, we've seen the laptop in grey in three sets. And the only exception being in the claw, we actually get it in silver, which is a pretty cool thing I've not noticed up until this point. Okay, so we get three astronauts, we get two US astronauts and one Federation astronaut. So we'll take a look at one of the US astronauts first. Uh, I'll only show you one US astronaut since they're pretty much identical apart from their weapons. So here you go, here's the first US astronaut. And these use the black visor, which is nice because modern astronauts do have the black visor. I think it's proven to reflect sun's glare better or something like that. On the side, we have the black US flag, which is a really cool detail. I kind of wish we saw it in, on all the figures, so that would be quite nice. On the back, we have the backpack with the nice black US flag again. And on this side, it's just plain with a silver and grey M4. On the front, we have breathing gear the helmet with some nice silver detailing if you give that a second to focus there you go and you can see a lot of nice detail throughout this figure and he also uses the navy seal boots so if you want to attach a knife or anything from another set you can so that's the US astronaut we will actually pull him off to one side and pull this one off as well the other US astronaut is exactly identical, you just get a suppressed SMG in white and grey with him. Now taking a look at the Federation astronaut, we can see he is rather different. He utilises the same white breathing piece, but he has a cream coloured jumpsuit and a golden visor. Twist into the side, you can see the Pentagon Federation logo, which is pretty cool. And on the back, the Federation flag on the backpack. So this figure also has a black and silver suppressed SMG, which is really, really nice. Okay, so that's mainly it for the figures. I really like how we got a space theme set because it got, gave Mega the chance to give us some astronauts and I think the astronauts are really really cool, I really really like them uh, before we move on to Odin, if you guys aren't really familiar with Call of Duty Ghosts you're probably sat there wondering who the Federation are right now so just quickly, the Federation in game are basically a union of South American states who formed together to fight against the US okay so if we now twist Odin round so you can get a view from the front 
move the camera back a bit. You can see it's quite a large model. We have a black display base with two support struts, some translucent rods, and a lot of nice aesthetic details. Moving the camera back, we twist Odin onto the side. We can see a lot of nice detail. You've got aesthetics ranging from the antennae down here all the way up to these nice kind of fin pieces that you see used in things like the rear fins of the Falcon. We have a movable, well, it's attached quite loosely, so I do have trouble moving it sometimes. But we have a golden kind of detail here. It can bend, it's just quite difficult to bend. We have four of these on each side. These um, solar panels with a railing for figures to grip onto. And we can actually twist this whole upper section, which is pretty cool. And then if I turn to the back quickly, we also have this side, which is really nice. This is really where a lot of the detail is, because what you've got to think of is... Odin itself would be facing towards Earth, so this is kind of the side that's facing away with all the thrusters and everything. So we have a lot of nice thrusters here, some great details, some solar panels, and then up here, again pivotable, we have this little box. And this little box is quite important because in-game, after the Federation have taken over Odin's space station, Kira Mosley and a few astronauts, one of which you play as, fight towards this particular firing section of Odin in order to take it out and stop it from doing any more damage to the US forces on the ground. So if we remove this, you can see what their objective is. The fuel line essentially for this thing, which when shot it causes the entire thing to explode. So this is really cool. Uh, usually you want it facing that way, but it's just really a really nice detail and I'm glad they added it in. They didn't have to, but they did and I think that's really nice. That thruster there is a little bit loose. So if we peg that back on. Now there's only really one main feature to this, so I'll start to prepare it for you guys. And that is of course the Odin going into firing mode. So we'll fold it out from the back because... To be honest, it doesn't just look cool from the side in its firing mode, it does look very cool from the back. So we'll fold these parts out for you guys. There you go, that's it from the back. You get all these little bits that open up and it does look really cool. Now if we twist it round, you can see what it reveals, the firing platform. Which has, if we move the camera in a bit more which you can see has tungsten rods here. Now, interestingly enough, these are blue, like translucent colour, when they probably should be grey since tungsten's a metal material. But I guess at the end of the day, Mega wanted to do something that looks a lot more aesthetically appealing than just sticking with grey. And I kind of think it has worked out for them. It does look nice. And then up here we have a solar panel and a little, almost like, mini gas line detail, which I think is really cool. We also get a little red light up here. And it's just a really cool portion of the set. And if we try and detach one for you now, we can see that this little segment here is literally the bulk of the build. You build four of these. A lot of work goes into it. You build these little removable sections here. And it gives you this, and you literally just have these two clips, which clip it into place on the model. Like so. And it's actually quite sturdy on the model, like, you wouldn't expect it to be, because it's only really two connection points, but it is sturdy, and that's nice. So, moving the camera back, we'll take a final look at Odin, and I'll give you my final thoughts. One thing I do like quickly is the inclusion of these translucent rods, because it makes it a lot easier to display figures around the station. And that's a really cool feature. And just generally, I think Odin's a really, really cool set, and I really, really like it. It's very unique. It's not something you'd necessarily uh, expect to see in the Call of Duty line, but it is something which is very, very cool. And it just generally feels like a really cool set and something which is quite unique in terms of what Mega have done so far. And it's something which I think is really nice... Uh, just to get as a standalone piece or to include in some kind of display. I mean, you see here I've got my Call of Duty display. 
I actually have Odin sat up on the top of that box there, which is really cool because it kind of then looks like it's above everything else and almost in space, which is quite nice. So this is it. This has been your look at the Odin Space Station Strike set, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and this is a set which I really, really like. Honestly, I would not pay full price for it, but if you can get it for £40, which is what I paid for it, definitely buy it. It's well worth it. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you guys have a great week. And this is Tom with the SS Motion, signing off.